And now Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. A lot of snow and wind has occurred across the past couple days across the higher elevations, which is why an avalanche warning is in effect. This includes Fremont County, all of western Wyoming, and also parts of the Central Mountains as well. Now, if you do have any outdoor activities in these areas, definitely stay on the trails. Don't go too far off and stay away from sleeper slopes. Again, the snow in combination of wind has caused some weaker snow snowpack, so avalanche avalanches are possible in these areas. Winter storm warnings starting to wind down finally will expire at about five o'clock today. Anywhere from about one to four inches of snow is likely across the upper and eastern Snake Highlands, all of western Wyoming and also the Central Mountains. Four to 18 inches of snow is also possible across the Teton and Grove Out mountain ranges, but roadways will continue to be slick and even for the area shaded in white for the winter weather advisory across the upper half of the Snake River Plain parts of the central mountains as well one to two inches of snow as possible main reason for this is definitely those slick roadways out there give yourself extra time when traveling around there is also a flood advisory in effect due to the warmer temperatures and also we've been seeing lots of snow melting and this includes southwest Bingham County also across Kasha and Minidoka counties for the eastern half of the Magic Valley. So for the low-lying areas, flooding is possible, so definitely be aware of that. For temperatures, though, out there, for the most part, we're seeing temperatures in the 30s and the 40s, which is also causing the snow to melt. Again, much warmer across some areas to start off this morning. 42 degrees currently in Blackfoot. It's 43 in Pocatello. 36 degrees in Idaho Falls and Rexburg, western Wyoming, generally seeing temperatures in the 30s, with the 30s also likely across the central mountains to start off the morning. For the most part, mainly dry for the most part, but more rain and snow is making its way in. All that moisture source really coming in from the southwest, especially looks like we could see some showers popping up across Fort Hall, Blackfoot, and then more of that will be moving in, coming in from the Magic Valley as we move throughout the day. Not necessarily going to be seeing a soaking rain, but periods of rain and snow are likely. Definitely have that umbrella handy. Seven o'clock this morning, higher elevation, starting to see all that snow, even by about lunchtime, we'll see rain and snow showers for the most part, rain across Pocatello, Blackfoot, Idaho Falls. I think a lot of it won't necessarily be heavy at times, but periods of rain are likely across the Snake River Plain. Even by about 4 o'clock out there, we'll see that. And we will get a break temporarily during the overnight, but as we move ahead into starting the day tomorrow, we could see more rain and snow on the way. We'll have periods of rain and snow showers across the Snake River Plain. I think the greatest chance of seeing any snow mixing in with that will be across the upper half of the Snake River Plain. Temperatures continuing to be mild. We'll be in the mid 40s across the lower Snake River Plain. And as we look ahead to this evening, temperatures generally a couple degrees cooler in some areas where we could see some snow mixing in with the rain across the upper half of the Snake River Plain. I think for the most part across Pocatello and American Falls, if we see any moisture for tonight, it will be in the form of rain. Your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast. Rain likely for today, high temperature of 46 degrees. Rain and snow possible for tomorrow across Pocatello and also across Idaho Falls. Looks like we'll see some sunshine on Friday, mainly sunny on Saturday. Across the Teton area, expect snow for today and for tomorrow, a chance of snow on Friday, partly sunny on Saturday and Sunday. For the Central Mountains, Salmon Chalice and Mackie expect a mixture of rain and snow for today and tomorrow, partly sunny to close off our work week.